Aloha folks, it's Kira Balul with On The Menu. Lahaina Grill is known for its award-winning food, but also its wine. There are thousands of bottles here, and Lahaina Grill Sommelier has a chance sometimes to travel far and wide to some of the most amazing places in the world to see the vineyards for himself and choose some varietals you may not have yet heard of. Anything goes with champagne. It's an exciting time for wine. Most definitely. And the Gewurz from Alsace was just remarkable with the Buffalo tomato. It's amazing how many other varietals out there besides Cabernet, Merlot, Chardonnay, Sauvignon Blanc there is, I mean, in the world that you can just love and has the same complexity as all of those wines. My big thing is to, is to get things that are small production, high quality, that are very hard to get or people don't really know about. With all the new varietals, I mean, Suave Gadello is just amazing. Falangina, amazing. These Ov uh, Orvieto white blends, unbelievable wines that pair so wonderfully with food. Low alcohol, some with low acid, some with high acid, but the texturally the wines are really pretty. We're going to drink a Nebbiolo uh, from Umberto. And it's 2012. And then we're also drinking a Duckhorn New World uh, Merlot. And if you're offering foods like Oso Buco, Tomato Bufala, meatballs, things like that, that's where the food's coming from. So you want wines that are going to pair with the food from that region. So you're pulling these great wines that aren't usually known and pairing them with food that we already, we already offer. The only thing that pairs with chocolate on my palate is Banyuls, which is southern France. I mean, there were so many different wines. And there's only, there was over 3,000 different varietals just in Italy alone. This last trip, um, I was lucky enough to be invited. So we flew into Milan. We started in Barbaresco. Then we swung over to Borolo. Then over to Bulgari. And then we went up to um, Montepulciano, Chianti, Rufino. Then we went to Prosecco, Alta Adige. Seven generations. I mean, the Hungarians are making wine. Have been making wines for a thousand years. I mean, the monks have been making wines for the same amount of time. I mean, there's so much history of winemaking. Now I just get chicken skin just thinking about. Just World War One, World War Two, hiding wines behind walls, hiding wines from the from the armies coming in and taking over. The armies that would come in and just trample their vineyards themselves. You know, people taking vines and putting them in their attics. And it was, I mean, it was just trying to save the, the the centuries and generations of wine growers from disappearing. Can you imagine? You've got to worry about Mother Nature. You've got to worry about what vessel you're going to put your wine, where the wine's going to go. You're talking about vineyards that. I've been there for centuries, and is the fruit going to be good? Am I picking right? Am I picking early enough? Am I picking late enough? Do I wait for the rain to come? And I've got to pick, you know, 42 acres or 110 acres. I mean, is it all going to come in on time? Do I have the equipment? Is nothing's broken down? You know, is the corks going to be okay? It's not like picking grapes, put it on the table, and you eat them. There's just so much that goes into it. And you see the dirt, you see the spacings, you see the wines, the way they're grown, and the people that are around there, what they're eating, what they're drinking, and, uh, and to see where the wine started from and where the wine's going. You know, the Mercedes family, Chris Maybeck, so this is major. This is 100 point wine. For me, it's, it's nice to offer those things here, educate the customer without being over pretentious. The love hammer. We have anywhere from four to 500 different bottles on the, on the list. We offer 20 bottles by the glass, which I think is fantastic. Just unbelievable. Falangina. It's a melting pot, and that's what I think we offer here. A wide spectrum of wines from all over the world. That's another one of those different varietals. Just notice where the, where the food originates and don't be afraid of ordering something that's different and just enjoy it. It's not just the food, it's not just the wine, it's not just the restaurant. It has to be all three together. And Richard is planning a very special event known as a generational pour. You can find out what that is and when it's happening in my article in our On the Menu section at MauiNow.com. I'm Kira Balul for On the Menu. Thanks for watching.